Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you the UI slider. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video um, like uh, on time, I guess. Usually I try to make them on the weekends, but I've been I've had a cold on top of that. We've been moving. And on top of that, I have school, so everything's just been chaos, pure chaos. And I will get my uh, video on the um, app review and giveaway out soon, sooner or later. But I'll, I'll try to get my videos out, but everything's been really busy, so I'm sorry about that. But let's get started. I'm going to give you a good understanding of this so you can build off of it and um, put it in your applications, hopefully. Um... So I'm using the new Xcode 4.2. It's a little different, but uh, any Xcode it'll still work. So let's choose a um, single view application, which is the same thing as a, a view-based application. Let's call it slider or whatever you like. Create and save it. Let's jump into your view controller .h. And after the UI view controller, uh, put the curly brackets if they're not already there and close them. And in here, we're going to start coding. Um, okay, so I'm already guessing that you already have a basic understanding, uh, that you know what a slider is. Um, so I'm just guessing you know what a slider is. So um, we're going to do an IB outlet for the slider. So it's going to be a UI slider. We're going to call it slider. Keep things simple. Just call it slider. I'm going to I'm going to just demonstrate this in a couple ways. I'm going to do IB outlet UI label label and IB outlet UI label um, label two and we'll call this label one. So two labels and a slider and now we need an action for when it's slid so we're gonna do IB action slide the slider ID sender semicolon always close your things with a semicolon now we're gonna jump into our dot m and paste the IB action and now we're gonna start coding so the first one we're gonna do uh, I might go a little fast, but I'm still going to explain it to you. Label, label one dot text equals open brackets, um, sorry, um, ns a string, string with format at um, the uh, quotations, and in here we're going to do percent um, point one f. 1.1 oh, 1. 1. 1 f sorry and then we're going to do comma slider I'll explain this don't worry that value and this is going to display the value of the slider as we slide it along so to the very left of the slider that's 0 and to the very top it's 1 or you could or you can make it 100 or 1000 or whatever you like so um so yeah so as you slide it, as you slide it to the left, it it decreases. As you slide it to the right, it increases. Um, so and this is gonna like track the value, and it's gonna display it on the label. And to access the value, you just need slider dot value. So uh, yeah, and now we're gonna do a couple if statements. We're gonna do if slider dot value equals equals zero. Now we're going to do a UI alert view. UI alert view. And we call it alert. Alert equals open brackets. UI alert view alloc. So we're going to allocate it. We're going to do init with title at. Uh, so this is if it's zero at the very left. Uh, we're going to do zero. This is the very left. And delegate self, so you can write whatever you like in between the um, quotations. And the cancel button title will be dismiss, and then we're gonna do other button titles nil. Okay, 
So, um, and now all we have to do is alert show so that it'll show and alert release. But in Xcode 4.2, it already automatically does the release, so you don't have to do it. But in other Xcodes, yes, you do have to do alert release. So just remember that. And now we're going to copy this and do one for the highest value. So if slider dot value equals one, which is the very highest, remember you can change the values if you'd like. But we're just going to do it default one. This is the very bright. Okay. Um, now actually, I'm going to do a couple more if statements, but they're going to be really short. And I'm going to explain it. So we're going to do three. Uh, zero. Point five. Point five is in the middle and one is the very right. So, if the value is zero, which is at the very right, label to that text equals at low. Now let's just copy this a couple times. Label to dot text equals at medium. Remember you can write whatever you want in between the uh, quotations and we're gonna do high. So, it's at the very right the very highest is going to be high. Uh, in the medium, it's going to be medium. At zero, it's going to be low. So now, let's go into your viewcontroller.xib or the storyboard. I guess that's the, what they renamed it for Xcode 2.4. Uh, 4.2, sorry. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay. Let, let us drag in a slider obviously and two labels where's the labels ha huh. make these a little bigger copy that so drag in two labels we'll just put them wherever and um, now I'll click on the view controller and go to your connections label one to whichever label you want to be label one and label two to the other one the slider to the slider, obviously, and this and the action, the slide the slider to the slider. And we're gonna click value change because the value is going to be changed. Okay, so um let's run it and uh see how it works. So as you can see, it's medium, this is low at the very left, and it displays the alert, this is the very left. Sometimes it'll do that if you click on it. And you see medium, and you see high. This is the very right, so you can see it works. You can add your own code for this. For, I don't know, get creative. Remember, accessing the value is simple as doing slide out value. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any uh, comments or questions, shoot me a message uh, to make this video better. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.